Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I think I can hear my lovely, charismatic voice coming through the airwaves directly to your ear holes. So, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, welcome back to another Slytherin stream brought to you by myself, the Mr. Richard of York's. And it is always fantastic. And of course, taking this occasion to say thank you to Slytherin Games, uh, but also to the devs of uh, Southern uh, Storm for letting me to come back yet again. And like I said, uh, the. the Normally, one of the devs does pop on to give us a little bit of hints and tips, but I think I think I'm hopefully going to do a little bit better tonight. So, if you have not checked Cold War Southern Storm out, it is available uh, from the Matrix Store. It is absolutely crack-lacking, ladies and gentlemen. I will post a link to the store uh, right here. It is worth every little penny it is it really is i'm not just saying that i've enjoyed every minute playing this i've got a couple of multiplayer games going at the moment in time which is fantastic uh, and i'm hoping to post some on my channel in the next coming weeks so of course take this occasion don't forget to follow sliver on all their social medias it's i think there's a big reveal or a big like um what's the word um uh, uh, unbridged meeting i think like a big tea time coming up i think on the website so if you've not checked that out or put that date in your calendar it's on the 13th of december uh at 4 p.m gmt um, uh, and it's a sliver next so live unfiltered and unbridged and i can't wait to come and see watch that as well so let's stop this lollygagging let's get down on the ground in the 1980s and start shooting some cannons at each other so it's a squeeze the squeeze play or the squeeze of germany which i've forthcomingly <laughs> labeled it so this is a uh, engagement between the um czechoslovakia juggernaut apparently and the west german forces uh this is an eight hour scenario um the scenario has a total of 107 units combined between cv80s west german and lots of czechoslovakian forces I'll have a little bit of read of this just to get a little bit of recon of what we're doing. So, with the NATO forces starting to fall back under heavy pressure, the unexpected Czechoslovakian juggernaut continued to move forward relentlessly. The sheer number of NATO forces on the Czechoslovakian border should have apparently been more than enough to stop the pack forces. NATO has banked uh, the belief that the Czechoslovakian forces would uh, not... Uh, we're uh, towards the wall, the realm of the pact, and the practice should have approved tenuous attackers despite the natural handicap of equipment. Blah, 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 blah. We've only started up the tip of the battle. It is going to be into fighting hands. The Soviet track of the second echelon were now nearing the border, prompted NATO to start a fighting retreat, whilst NATO for the second Hanish forces move forward to plug the gaps. Who? Let's crack a lacking with this. We, of course, are going to be playing NATO commander, computer. We're going to let everything be whatever it will be randomized. Um, and unspotted veteran. We're not allowing any emergency use supply or information spot. Let's crack a lack. Ooh, I'm going to take a little bit longer on this tonight as we've got a bit more thick and fast with uh, Southern Storm. I didn't click this scenario beforehand as well, so this is fresh in the mind. I've played quite a lot of the scenarios now, and every single one of them, I played a couple of them twice now, and it plays slightly different each time. I'm really glad that. And of course, playing against. Um, Playing against some human players is going to be cool. So, your commanding eight your forces. Eight hours to accomplish the mission described in the scenario brief. Your forces are comprised of 17 groups. Uh, described in the operations fire assault reports. We'll, we'll just check out what we've got here. You now drag and drop and the setup hex. And we're Amberg. Oof. Though I have not a clue where that is in Germany, to be honest, off the top of my head. I'm going to have to go onto Google Maps after this. <laughs> I somehow think the uh, <laughs> I somehow think the uh, Czechoslovakian forces are going to be harsh, harsh, uh, overcast. Uh, da -da -da. Oh God, what's the visibility? I just need to know what visibility is. Illumination. Oh, it's going to decrease. Oh, that's going to be harsh towards the end of that game. That is really going to be harsh. Do, do, do. So, of course, no one spotted yet. Intelligence summary, so reconnaissance, helicopter, tank, armoured carriers, infantry, anti-tanks, anti-tank subunits, air defence subunits, artillery, 
Um, and no sputtered off map. What? So what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? We got some burr. We got some artillery. You could state of the size of that. That is brilliant. Where is that actually located? Is that off board? That's off board, isn't it? Yeah, that's off map. Off map. Oh, God, that's nice. That's nice. Da, da, da. Pioneers, not engineers. Pioneers. Leopards. Yes, exactly. That's, I like that. I like that um, <laughs> analogy. I can't see the red, the red just coming down. Oh, I love these leopards. I really do. Oh, we got a lot of bloody deployment do. Like, I would have expected some air assets. Unless I'm missing something here. What are these actually pioneers at? Uh, what have they actually got? Uh, what weapons do they have? Uh, small arms. Automatic grenade launcher. <laughs> Satchels. Somehow I think they're going to be sitting in a building. Anti armor satchels. Ooh, 50 meter range. That's nice. And uh, and tank grenade. Oh, wow. Wow. They are armored to the teeth. Okay, this is. I assume the coming from this location, we'll start to spot them as we do. So these are the. Uh, these are the pioneers here, which. And these are minefields. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So where can we put these guys? All the way down here, but it's line of sight, and it's going to be have to be what elevation cut, what elevations here, because we could move to the minefield wherever it is. Um, what's the deployment vector on these? Oh my god, they're so back. Well, at least they're defending these objectives, but I assume it's this road they're going to be running across. Oh my god, so many units. So many units. <laughs> it happens, though. It happens. It can easily happen. I mean, what's the victory... How many victory points are these worth? Like, I can't remember to see that, but the, I know they're worth quite a lot. I can't remember the victory point. I know it's... Oh, where was it? Where was the victory point? VP 150? <laughs> What's the victory point cost of a T-72? It's not 150. It can't be. It's got to be like... I don't know. It'd still be worth something. Oh, like, what do we do? Like, pushing towards this hill and then seeing what comes at us. Oh, these bridges are out. Oh. What is the line of sight of these folks down here? Oh, this is going to be murderous. Yeah, I, I need to see the victory point of a... Uh, I think we're going to move up to this hill. I think we're going to move straight up to here. And then we're going to defend on there. And then see what happens. And see how, see how the battle progresses. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. We can deploy forward, though. So we are going to need some tank units down here that are going to support the uh, pioneers in this little town. It's going to be harsh. I can't imagine how many vehicles he's going to push, but it's the battle that's going to be happening here. I think there's going to be two battles in the city itself, but also in the defence of the southern position. What's the elevation again on here? We're still high. We're still high on here. Big brain time for Mr. York here. Okay, that's good. Now these, uh, what are these? These are subunits. These are AA. Uh, which can't move. There's the Leopard. There's the HQ. These are just Pantagon ideas. 
Marders. Marder. Yeah, these are all Marders, aren't they? You're fine. You're pretty fine. Okay. So, Panzer Grenadiers, I think, are going to do a holding action here. And the slaughter of... So, we're high here. Thank you very much, Beanslam. I am now more in, uh, enlightened. Uh, who is he's? What's his command? Is this his command group? So much things to move. So these are fine. We're gonna. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to hold. Yeah, these are better off just holding. Up. But there is no victory locations there. Unless this is just going to be a point for them to push through to hit the objectives here. Okay, what's our deployment here? Oh, plenty of time. Plenty. I know. Stay within the bar. I hate that Windows uh, pop-up sound. Okay. Um, I think most of these guys are going to have to be sitting down, waiting to react to what comes forward. Unless we should. But there's a high... We're really high up here, though. And, like, not terrible fields of... I've had worse fields of fire. It's just if any armoured... Armored column or mechanized with bloody guys with bloody lots of anti-tank stuff it's gonna it's gonna be a bit of a field day for them and i think it's gonna have to be sl some reserves i think it's gonna be how how the battle develops here that what we do what's the elevation again there hmm uh, and these are off board. Are oh, they on, on? They're under call. They're under staff. We have to admit that this these elements may pull back. We have to accept that this fighting around here could get quite harsh for us. So I think we have to determine that keeping this open to bug everybody out and then see what happens. I think we just play that by ear and see what happens. Um, bit of busy goods. Uh, we are. What was the? What was the? Um, what was the state of play for it? What was the weather forecast? So eighteen hundred hours visibility. Which was it one again? So the threat they're going to come straight there, not via Hamburg, straight down that A six. Is it A six road again? Is it the A six? Yes, the A six. Ooh, what's the mobility there? How fast are they going to be moving? Mm, it's quite slow there. Okay. Uh, we've made mistakes before. Is this my guy? Oh, I hear lots of rolling thunder here, folks. Hours. 
Oh, we can see him. Our artillery's on call, so if we spot them, our artillery's going to be landing on their head. I'll take my little thing off, off board so I can see it while you guys uh, watch the... Oh, <laughs> there's lots of stuff coming to the right. I'm hoping to get a good whooping because I've not had a good whooping in a while. I can hear I can hear helicopters already. I'm not entirely sure what we're facing. I assumed we're facing 72s. Oh, got a hind. Now which hind is it? Oh, that looks like a better tank to me. Oh, yep. Yeah. We spotted him. Did we get him? Claims two BVPs. Mech, inf mech infantry there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Fire it again. Which variant is that? Is this the uh, is this the ATGM one? <laughs> Which I don't want to find. Because them attack helicopters can be quite harsh with ATGMs. I don't know if it's yeah, is it oh it's the uh, it's the one I don't want to fight. Oh jeez, now we're getting hit by his artillery. Oh no. I should have I should have set the order for the AA to AA guns to move forward to cover these leopards. It's all right if I can hold off until the last couple of hours it'll be dark so we can't see anybody. We scored a couple of lucky hits here but look at the state of these guys. I think these are going to have to come around here and see how many they can kill before they hit our main force. <laughs> Look at the state of the formations. <laughs> I can't really say anything. It's not like I haven't got, like, a decent force here. I'm going to look how this the, the map of this is actually correlating to real life. I'm going to have to look at that. Oh, it's artillery. And I, want, I need to go and see what's been spotted because I can't keep looking at this. To mechanized. We've got some light eighty GM vehicles coming in as well. the on-call artillery coming down, hitting the mechanised. Do we get any kills? Uh, I 
don't think we actually killed anybody there. <laughs> I need that AA forward uh, very quickly, I think. Some of them, um, that mech. There go, come on, take some out, please. Hey, it's it, it's all on call artillery. It's not me directing it. I can't direct it when needed. But I seem to go overkill with the artillery. It's done some damage. I think it's killed some uh, mechanized mechanized stuff. We'll see the casualty, what is claimed. Here we go. <laughs> he claims. I mean, he claim. Uh, one Strella, two destroyed. Hex, two nine one seven. Oh, that was the uh, yeah, that was the leopard. I claim the kill. God, that was uh, all right. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Uh, let's just go to our intelligence. Okay. <laughs> oh God, it's 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 only a couple of units. We'll be all right. We'll be all right, folks. So we spotted ten tanks, seventeen APCs, eighty HQ. Oh. Oh. Where'd them halos go though? They they bogged back off east. Whoo! <laughs> so who reported the kill the artillery got the kill that's the artillery uh the artillery what did the uh did the did the leopard actually claim any kills is that the artillery no this is the artillery this is the leopards mech infantry mech lots of mech a couple of tanks artillery of oh, well just she on sweep you Nothing particularly. Oh God, state of it. It's just it's a, the big red fist is about to come down, and uh, but we've got these chaps up here can move into position to start hooking hooking south, which I think they're going to have to do. I think I'm going to go and come across this valley, and just wait until I can get a lot of their uh, a lot of more eyes on the ball. Uh, where's this? At? Hey, hey. Uh, I want to move him. Uh, MMGs. Is he under the same staff? What's <clears throat> the wrong fellas? It's it is it's a it's a good fog it's good, but, but uh, Hannibal it's good you don't see what's coming it's it would makes the game it really does if you could you can turn the options off where you see all enemy forces, uh, but it's pointless this is the way the game needs to be played a hundred percent like hundred percent it's it's all speculation we're, we're we're trying to we're trying to gauge where each of us forces are artillery and counter artillery and trying to outmaneuver where things are. Um, this guy took some shots, I think. This was the, the bloke who took some shots. Uh, did he claim anything? Yeah, he claims four APCs. Uh, he seventy seven. Challenge for you. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna rest because the the battle is gonna come soon. So I think I'm gonna shift these fellas down and see if I can get a better. We could risk moving to that little hill, which I think I'm particularly happy doing. At my own peril. Oh, that is not a good movement factor. I don't like you moving across there like that. Uh, can I change that for them? If 
we could shift across this way. It might take a little bit longer, but it might be safer. And it's literally the same level there. Uh, this is the yes. We're going to have to shift these fellas forward because uh, <laughs> there's going to be some f halos flying around. Uh, this way, this way, this way, this way, and here, I think. What's their line of sight? Not really want to chuck them out of there. I think I'm going to hold off moving for the next couple of minutes. Let everybody else move into that position and see what else comes at us. It's them, hey, it's the hinds, which I think are going to cause some issues here, especially if anything in the open. I don't think, I think everything is in somewhat cover. There's the off board. Did he actually get anybody? The AA in Hamburg. Oof. Oh. And scratch two BRDMs. Scouts destroyed. That was by the, the heat from the uh, leopard. Uh, we've got some more light reconnaissance coming in. It should just get it should just get taken off. Oh look at the size of them mechanized oh, groups. <laughs> Fortunately our ammo is gonna bleed. It's gonna be bleeding there. Oh, I, I, snipe! They are. They're, they're amazing. I think they're. I think they're amazing. The artillery is cool. And that was tank destroyed. Oh, did that hind just fly over that that city? It feels like a command room. I love it. It feels like I'm in a command room somewhere. Oh, is this hind destroying my mech infantry? <laughs> Please don't fire AGGMs at me. This leopard here is going to run dry quite quickly. Uh, his ammo is at 41%. He is going to have to bug back and uh, do some rest of resupplying. The, uh, <laughs> the hind seems just to fly over. It's a hind D. All right, incoming artillery. Oh, two recce, two APC. Four APC. <laughs> That guy's going to run out of ammo very quickly. Uh, oh, and he's going to take. He's going to get some flak there. And he is. At, I should have set his command to bug out. I should have set his uh, orders to move with low ammo, or if he takes fire, 
a couple of them units should have changed the orders. Oh, it's T-54. Uh, T it is T-54s, you're right. I think they're M2s. Yeah, they are M2s. AT gem away. Was that AT gems? Mech rifle. Oi! We know we're dropping some artillery. just going to hold back so we know we can maybe direct some of our artillery into that position. Uh, we'll keep it at, at neutralising and ASAP. We'll do 30 rounds. Uh, you are going to have to go away because you're going to lose... Okay, uh, you're swinging that way, you're swinging that way, you're making your mind up to... Uh, I think we're going to shove you this side. I think coming down that road is going to be devastatingly bad for you. The Heinz haven't come into actions just yet. Okay, we're going to slowly... We just pull these onto this road, but we've got this road here. We could push up eventually, but the amount of tanks that are going to come there are insane. Okay, you're still shooting forward. I've not pushed there as yet. I'm going to move deliberately here. We might, we could change, we could change all of our, um, in our SOP manager if we want to pull back. <clears throat> Um, no, I, I don't think we need to do that just yet. I think it was scheduled. I think it's, I think it's the 21st today. I'm sure it's the right one. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm sure I was meant to stream this tonight. Uh, okay, so if they... We're going to do it on the Panzer Grenadiers. We're going to relocate after receiving any... any Taking any losses. Uh, and we're going to do it to unit of the same type. Um, so that's for five units. Uh, you're fine. What's your ammo? We're 100. He's the one who started taking a lot of shots. I'm just uh, slightly concerned about the... Um, about them hinds flying around. Oh, that's not going to be a good position. And we'll just hold off that position. He will pull out of that line of sight. So what's his line of sight? He can't be seen. 
he can't be seen. So I don't know if we push maybe this guy into a, a more forward position. Oh, fair dues. Well, regardless of that, <laughs> I think I'm here uh, this Monday and next Monday at 8. And hopefully I continue to stream uh, Flashpoint. <laughs> All right. Um, I think we're safe there. I think we're safe there. I need this AA to get his goddamn arse. Has he got a unit delay? I would like him down here. Oh well, it it will be. I'll be here to to die at eight, and um, next week at eight on Monday. So put that that that's for sure. I'm sure. I'll, I'll contact uh, Edmund about it if uh, if I'm completely. Uh, uh, so we're going to fire support that thousand point objective, um, and then we're going to just hold. His life sight's not great. And we do have the Panzer Grenadiers here if we want to push it. And I think I'm, I'm, I think we're satisfied with that. It's just the the hinds that are going to come down. Two, two engagements for the leopards there. Oh, his hind rockets away. No. Whoo! Quick, get out of there, Lado. <laughs> yes. He managed to bounce the rockets yet. Yeah. We might get we might lose a leopard there due to that hind. Oh no, we lost one! That was of the hind for that was the hind D. He moved he moved the foliage. He moved the foliage around his tank and now he's got spotted by lots of uh, nasty things looking his way. Oh, that hind D. He's wrecking me. <laughs> I thought he might pull out in time, but no. <laughs> I'm hearted the hell out of that objective. <laughs> Welcome to the gulag. <laughs> I love it with the computer for... Oh, here we go. Is this off the... This is off the hind again. It's my fault. I completely to blame. I should. I didn't order the uh, AA up. And the AA for the uh, leopards isn't great. The Pentagon idiots. He'll run out of ammo soon. I've got more men than he has ammo. I think the AA on the Leopard's quite close. It gives him a bit of free roam with it. I was quite interested in the last stream, the effectiveness of the Phantoms that came in. And that, we, depending on what uh, happened, if they had AA in there, it took a lot of them. Oh, where's he going? ATM from the Panzer Grenadiers, and he destroys the... That was an anti-tank guided missile, I think. He's got a machine gun boat again. <laughs> He's got a machine gun tank. State of that thing. Panzer Grenadiers, last one to say about that. Get your light, your light recon vehicle out of the way. And look, drinks low, which is good. Oh, 
in one respect, having the two units of tanks in the north is going to be helpful towards the end of this. It is going to get dark soon. Don't you tell remind me of it. It's going to get very dark. Not not because of my soul, but because of the game's going to make it dark. This hind is disgustingly going to... It's just going to flare around shooting me. He's, he's just gone around. He's just reconning. He's probably... I bet you top dollar that he has to rest quite quickly. I remember them two attack helicopters on the previous stream. They shot really well, but they had to go and resupply. 80 gems away. That clip 1 BVPM. 1 VP1. Their, ho their formations are huge. Did the uh, did that leopard survive? He did. Just one of them, though. <laughs> he, had to, he did have to bug out. I think I was happy that one of them survived. It's all right. He'll be back. He'll be back. Well, at least want him to be back. Oh yeah, they, they were amazing. I was really impressed. The, 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 it was that terrain, it, it really did help. That they could just scout out there, shoot the AGM, AGMs and then bug out again. I mean, they did. one of them did get taken down by the uh, machine gun cart. Oh, there he is, Mr. Hind. Mr. Hind, I see ya. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> no one expects a high D. Oh, we're starting to we're starting to lose tanks here. I, should, I, I, I can expect there being a lot more <laughs> Russian force forces being hidden in this position. All right, I'm gonna move you deliberately here, and I, f I think I'm gonna move you hastily. Uh, okay, what's what's the story? What's the story with you? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna sit there and be <laughs> not die. Oh god, I haven't played that in years. Years. Okay, so forces developing the very much taking all the objectives so far, but you know what? That does not mean Jack at the moment in time. We've got we we got, you know, <laughs> about seven hours left to play. Uh so Oh, we can actually hide NATO symbols as well. I oh, actually like that. So it's definitely a concentrate. We've just got to hold our nerve a little bit here because I could go jumping in. But if there's, I don't know if there's two hinds m moving around. I think we want to change one of our artilleries. Uh, uh, to neutralize that objective. And I'm tempted as well to use the other artillery to uh, just barrage this objective again it's gonna fly away it's just gonna fly away i just need this it just i'm upset that we don't have very much i can't remember what the aa of the leopard is it's like it's it's very close <laughs> actually it has got some air defense it has got some air defence. Machine guns. <laughs> it's just going to shoot its machine guns, isn't it? Oh, it's classified. Uh, okay. Uh, just checking some readiness here. And what's the... Uh, 
Oh, that poor soul. He did well. He did well. Oh, he's quite a lot of range there from his HQ. You guys are fine. Ah, chill and see. I think now these. I'm going to shift these forward because these are getting targeted by some artillery positions. We're not playing Battlefield 3 here, Hannibal. This is not Battlefield 3 or whatever, where you can shoot tank to tank. I suppose you could do it. I suppose it's not impossible. It's just a, I suppose a, a helicopter as well. A helicopter is probably easier to shoot down than a plane. Oh, he's in that little crow, in that little valley there. I can't even see him. Ugh, it's... What's the cover there as well? It's quite high. Massively high in there. But not down this little uh, death row they've come at. Okay. So there's not really much else I could do. I mean, apart from shifting these guys, just probably pushing these all the way back down. Which is probably what I need to do. Because I don't think there's going to be an attack up there. I think it's now going to be me flushing my forces down. And then I can just um, redeploy and then just hopefully, just if nothing attacks up here, we can just push down. So much vehicles. To honestly, I think these are, these are least forces. Uh, I think the Russians have a lot. Okay, um... That's not worthy of uh, any rest, any resting troops. I don't want to shift forward to there just yet. Um, I think Charles, we've just got loads of tanks, so it's it's quite an easy movement. This guy just needs to get his bloody arse into gear. Um, and I think that's all I need to do. Let's hopefully we can. That hind makes a bad decision. Remember, we are turning them to objective positions. Oh. Behind. He's behind. Oh, machine gun vehicle. He's going to explode, I think. Both hinds are going. Oh, coming back. Is he going to go shooting with his machine guns?
that was the Mana shooting? Yep. Uh, that's the ATGMs with the BV uh, against the BVP. BVPs. Oh, now the Hind's gone away. So ATGM off. It's like them Bradleys with ATM sitting down. Oh, they're nasty. I promise you next week we'll play we'll play as the uh I don't know what he's doing with it, to be honest. I don't know what battle plan. Remember, it's always you can randomise the battle plans uh for what the could be Oh no, he's shooting my date! No! <laughs> he's shooting my AA. You stinky dog. I've gotta stop him. Panzergrandi is starting to take some casualties here. We are at 96% starting forces. A scratch one leopard. Mr. York, he just, he drove the poor utility vehicles into war. <laughs> it should have maybe kept them back. I hope he can just skip into them woods and get out of line of sight. <laughs> you missed. Quick, get into cover. So many of them. Deciding whether to pull these chaps into the uh, fray in this gap. Oh, two of them. Panzer Grenadiers are having a fantastic. Oh, here we go. It's the uh, Heinz back again. He's just canning them to death. I don't know if he killed anybody. Oh, he did. Uh, he did. He actually killed somebody there. I don't think they've got any AA whatsoever. Oh, the truck. I mean, the truck. This is the AA. This is all the AA stuff. <laughs> it's just trying to get into position. Oh, we're shooting back. I don't know what he has. Headquarters. Just MM. Oh, we're shooting MMGs at him. Whoo! That's it. You better run, boy. You better run. You better run. That was completely my fault for not shifting him from this point, but I don't want them to get that 2k, 2.5k point objective. I, we didn't actually cause any. He, he, he knocked four units off there. Um, did he kill all the AA? I think he did. Oh, we've made a mistake. 
Made a mistake, Mr. York. <laughs> now it's just artillerying him. <laughs> Thanks for that. Squeezing. I'm not entirely sure of their force strength. Oh, he just walked him off the map. Heinz! Heinz means beans! Because. <laughs> What a mistake, and I paid for every single hex there. I moved in that wrong position. Rip. We spotted a HQ position there. Pans Grenadiers are having some fun with some mechanised. Come on, HQ, shoot that hind with some machine guns, please. You always have to expect a, a harsh attack, and just it's just how you deal with it in the, a later game. <laughs> if you've got anything to deal with it. This ammo count must be very low at the moment in time. 14%. Ugh! Here he goes. Uh, I, I'm unsure of the question, line of departure. There's not per se supply units. You, your units can rest and supply. And there's a certain setting where you can enable emergency supply, which I take off because I think it makes the game easier. That hind is wrecking my day and there's a lot of T-52s coming up to that position. It's either I do a smoke barrage to hide some of the, my tanks for a second. He is, he's uh, <laughs> I can just throw bad luck. He's got to run out of ammo at some point. I'll check the unit formation out, what was in the unit formation, but I think it was just lots of AA guns. But that's a question that I can try and find the answer to. Uh, we are going to have a really bad day now because of these uh, hinds. That's definitely not enough AA to deal with them. Hunt. Well, what is that? Three hinds? This formation is going to get absolutely smashed. And a couple of the ammo counts here is not good either. Now my fire mission is over. I think it's on call. Whoo! What did this formation contain? Well, rip. It's It's rip. It had just utility. I'm not entirely sure. It's just, tow I think these are just towing vehicles for, these are towing vehicles for the 20 mils. I'm sure that's right, uh, but they all just got ripped. <laughs> they got ripped by the hind before they could get set up. Uh, but that was completely my, that was my fault. Uh, I can't. That's me not positioning that forward. But I don't think it could have moved off the 2.5k objective to get into position. Uh, it depends how quickly these hinds get up there. Uh, but yeah, he is, uh, is, is ripping us a bit here. Oh, God. Yeah, I think it's just, it's just towage.
They're dug in, covered. Oof. I'm going to shift out of the way and he's going to resupply. Uh, okay. Awesome for the follow. You've joined as the hind. I just don't know how you deal with it. I'm 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 trying to deal with it and I I can't. I seem I'm just gonna have to take it on the chin. Okay, what's the elevation here again? Yeah, they are. So I think it's artillery positions. I'm not right. <laughs> it needs to punish me now. It, it needs to... It, I, I completely accept the fact is the computer player needs to punish, punish me now for that. For my... I just don't think I got that into position quick enough. I think if that was in position quick enough, it might have made a big difference. But no, I think, oh, we just need to push south now. I think he's got to have taken a lot of casualties here, though. I mean... He's taken lots of mech, like lots of mech here. Did we actually kill a helicopter? No, we didn't kill a helicopter. That is just the one formation. We're going to get rinsed a little bit. We'll get rinsed a little bit, I agree. But we'll, uh, we're will we not giving up. We're not giving up. That's not in our motto. That is the worst... Uh, Thing you could possibly have. I think they've taken considerable casualties here already. But I don't know, they've done particularly well. They're taking the objectives. So in all respects, they are winning at this moment in time. All right, folks, we are going to swing you as forward as possible now to be really, really annoying. I don't want to stack... Oh, uh, what, what is your ammo like? You're a hundred. Uh, do we just launch some more artillery? He's going to be out of ammo soon. He's just going to have bad language. Uh, he's 30 state of this thing uh, it's just 45 so we are one hour four. Oh God, this is just the prelude, lads. This is the prelude. This isn't even. Um, this isn't even any time where we are. We're just. This is just. We're still plenty of time left here. Oh, oh we're gonna shell that place to oblivion. Stop, them high D's. I'm going to be asleep tonight. <laughs> I'm never going to give the high D up.
I think this is the artillery positions on this west. Sometimes I have to sit there and look at the time because I forget how long I've been playing. Oh, here comes Team of Chiefs 5, 52s even. Uh, that's the T destroyed by the... That's by, these are the guided missiles from the Pans Grenadiers. And the uh, the artillery position is it 100 and 120 mils are out of ammo now. Sorry, T fifty fours, isn't it? Vaporize them. There he comes again. There might be a more of a, uh, a, a, a hamburger. I thought there was more of an attack on there, but there was just nothing coming up that position. I don't know if in a different battle plan they attacked the town or tried to go around it. But I suppose retrospectively, it doesn't don't have to. vehicles just malingering in that sector. Complete overkill there. What's the range on them rockets? Huge! Alright, Panzer Grenadiers, it's time to do your do your duty soon. Just just to get in Heinz bobbing bob out of observation. I'd love to see this man's kills after this. Um, 
what's their stats like? Uh, it's not. Okay, I want to assault this position. Really can't believe them Hinds. They are. I don't know if Hinds can actually. I don't know if aircraft can actually take. Um, oh, he's going to get blown up soon. Shifting forward, shifting forwards. I mean, do we shift these engineers forward? Ah, uh, you see their bullet magnets in there. Absolute bullet magnets. Let's see what things they are ready to kill me. So we are currently at 82% starting force VPs. We've lost a lot of things here. We have lost a lot. And that hind is just reaping as we rockets. So I want to see the stats after this. A menace to society and my life. Awesome. Uh, and I think we are... Okay, we are. We do have some ammo here now. Did you... Oh, he's only got 48. Should we do all? utility vehicles it's gotta be over soon it's gotta be over oh man of the match I'm glad before I, I never fought a hind I don't think I've played it against the hind D yet uh, so I think we've only fought the other I can't remember the other variant Get lost. Just gotta take it. That's another 150 points. 81. Hello, Tony. Oh, weather overcast. Uh, so, five supports. So he's called that. Hopefully, he's gonna call that in and start bombarding that position. Get hind care, yeah. Here we go! Shoot some machine guns at him! Go on, have him, lads! <laughs> and he just flies away. <laughs> just flies away, goes. That HQ. Come on, lads, use some machine guns. That's got to be ranged.
Oh, did he, did he lose one? Did, did he lose one there? I want to find out who took him out. Somebody took one of them out, I'm sure. Did he? No, he didn't. I think it's our, it's our spotting. It's horrendous. <laughs> Mistakes were made. This hind is toying with me now. It's just toying. It's, it's actually come round to the rear. <laughs> That's got to be in... in AA range for the leopard. That's it, is it? Are we engaging it? Yeah, it is the case of the Halo Con that you make at point blank range. Come on, come on. Did you take me? <laughs> I'm gonna whine. Oh, look at that stupid. Oh, that's a brilliant, that is. Did we take it? Did we take one out? No, he's uh, he's 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 he's, he's uh, too well. Okay, we're gonna just pull back behind these now. These may take a little bit longer due to that location, but I want to come over that little hill there and see if there's any other support vehicles sitting there. Okay, we are going to shift forward here. What's his ammo like? Oh, he's... Okay, we are going to be aggressive with the ones behind because they've not a uh, thing, and then we're going to rest and we're going to rest and resupply because I don't know if these are. No, he's fine. It's the bloody hind sitting there. Wow. Uh. Okay, let's see what the hind does this turn. Okay, we're shooting at me now. Uh. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here against him. So we're engaging him. We, did we get one? 
Yes, we claimed a hind. He's he's got to is is Icarus. He's got too close to the sun, which is like a ton of leopards. There's the T fifty two sitting on that hill. <laughs> oh, that's genius. Genius. <laughs> Give that gunner ten points. We certainly got punched in the face. We really did. We really got punched. Dad lad fifty four brilliant for the follow. We are at dusk here as well. Oh, is he going to take the last hind out? I think they're spent here, I think, guys. I think they're spent. Them hinds are just ridiculously annoying, but they're doing quite a lot of horror. They're, they're certainly trying to distract them leopards. Come on, lads. Point blank. Point blank. Somebody's got to take a shot at him. Point blank, come on. This is 24D. Oh, it's gonna, the game's going to get killier now because uh, it's going to get dark very soon. Yep, uh, that was two scout vehicles, wasn't it? Was that a claim? Uh. Alright, we've got some mechanised camping in that little town. Here we go, there's the hinds. It's fine. Oh, we've got another hind coming in. How many's he got? How many does this man have? He just has unlimited hinds. Give me all the T-52s all you like, just at least I can... I could artillery that position. Always gonna rip me a new one in that open. I'm expecting more forces to come rip down that road. 78% starting force. 
Come on, get close. Get close. Well, unfortunately, he gets more devastating than I do. That's him shooting at me. That's it. Come on, point blank. Point blank. Did we get in him? No. That <laughs> cheeky fella. T-52 is all in that wood. Come on, he's point blank again. He's flying over our heads. Sorry, T-54s. I keep saying, I don't know why I say T-52s for. Let's so I'm just trying to look up the engagement tracker, what we're actually engaging here. I think we have sufficient forces to take the 1,500,000 point left. Oh, this guy is like proper, proper annoying me. Which valiant soldier actually actually took out the, uh, yeah, it just locates one. I mean, he's just shooting pea shooters at him though in the day. Oh, and visibility is not going to be great soon. Okay, we are going to push forward here, I think. Uh, we'll keep you slightly back, but the Panzer Grenadiers are certainly going to shift forward a little bit and then see what we can push into. I think we could just artillery them positions and that's going to be that is going to be game for it. Did they actually rest and re Don't know if there's anybody in there. Um, you're happy to do that. Or well, you're going to have to shift across regardless and take some flak from that thing. But unfortunately, there's pockets of resistance here as well. I'm not really fussed about moving these. Oh, I would, I would agree, Iceman. It's oh, it's it's huge. It's like being in, in uh, it's, it's like being in NATO somewhere, just commanding my tanks into the deaths of uh, Heinz. Um, yeah, that's all I want to do. We've suppressed.
Well, the Panzer Grenadiers will go in there. So we don't need a Leopard Star artillery. It's a bit harsh. The Hinds have done well. The, it's that. It's the Hind K. <sighs> no, is it Hind D? I can't remember what the Hind is now. It's the most annoying helicopter in the world. It's alright when you're dishing it out, but when you're getting it back, it's enough a thing. But it's hilarious. He's done so well with it. And I think I'm be extremely lucky taking at least one of them out. But that's with zero AA because I sacrificed mine in a push. Here we go. Yes, it does. I'm going to have, like, nightmares about it. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Okay, so dusk visibility, wind, it's fine. It's getting dark in here. So dark, because we can't see anything now. Here we go, here they are, the tanks. They're here. The hind is flying too close to the sun there. Oh, yep, that's fine. You can call that in. Oh, it's costly. This is costly trying to get the points back. I think we've got the 1k objective. are reaping me on that corner. It's not even funny. <laughs> it's just popping off a hundred, like a couple of hundred points worth of VPs. I'm definitely sure we can just move straight into that position, no problem whatsoever, and just hold. All right, let's... Uh, Try and shell them out of that position. To be honest, everybody else can just hold firm. While we swing around here. And hold. A 
of the hind sitting behind that unit, isn't he? Here he is. Ha ha ha. I think we've only still killed one of them, though. Still only one. I do. Oh, yeah, still only one. So we're at dusk at the moment. I can't remember what that sign means. I think it's, it's that illum illumination. Okay, so we're 3.27. Everybody else can stand wherever they need to. I don't want to every second. I want to hit some rounds there. I can't remember where the fire was coming from before. I don't think I've actually ever used the ruler on this. It just looks like it'd be like a rangefinder. Okay. What's destroying these panzer grenadiers? They've not got very much left, and the morale is quite hit. Be all right, though. <coughs> right, let's head forward. They may. Though he's done very well in this this really random position there. I, I think we're about to break them. Should have shifted them uh, leopards there. Shift of the Panzer Grenadiers in soon as well. Four Panzer Grenadiers are going to have to be chucked forward soon. Well, definitely getting their, uh, <laughs> their victory points in here. I think I've lost like four leopards here in the last couple of minutes. They moved in. Oh, it's, they moved in. They are going to get HGM to death. So, oh, long live the rocket propelled grenades. I don't know if we lost any. Oh, there it goes. It ends. So the enemy has suffered losses and withdrawals exceeding 70%. I knew they would drop, but to be honest with you, <laughs> we were as well.
Right, we've got about 20 minutes, so we're going to continue fighting, see if we can clear these, clear them off the board. But that's a marginal, a, a marginal win. Woo! We'll continue to fight. We've got about 10, 15 minutes, and then we, we can end it. I don't know if it's ever worth bringing the pioneers for this defence, or I don't know if they're fixed at all. Oh, the artillery! Consider the knock forty percent off us here. Okay, I'm gonna let's see what happens if we do this. Uh, and I think that's it. And, okay. I think we neutralised the targets around the 1500 mark. I think it's that just artillery just reeking us. I'm not entirely sure what the hind is doing here. Mechanized. Probably, probably. Honestly, I can just let it play out. Well, if you come straight out of there and jumps on the too fast objective, artillery is sickening. Uh, priority target? Yes, you may. Here he goes. <laughs> you called it. <laughs> Photo shoot. <laughs> He's taking the pictures back. It's the priority, yeah, it's on, it's on general call, so it just, it will call out targets. Unless I want to dictate where it comes in. Though the objectives are the only positions I really wanted to call them in. That offboard stuff is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Makes it so easy. I 
I don't think it's on counter battery. But I think probably it might be a great idea to do counter battery. We're going to have to be straight on their face to actually get this objective. Whew, there's some sitting there. <laughs> Just going to have to rush them. Tank is sitting there still. What's his ammo count? 49, 100. He's getting absolutely hammered and he's dead. Oh, and he vaporizes both of them. Gotta be it. Yeah, that's that. That's it. I tell you now, that was difficult. That, I mean, honestly, having that many heavy tanks is quite. You know, it does give you a little bit of a leeway. I think we can just uh, end this now. Oh, there we go, folks. That was pretty harsh. Can we just see what they had left? Oh, my giddy God. What have they got left? Oh, they have so much. Oh, here's the half of... Oh, they've got a couple of <laughs> behind back in that. But holy cow, they have so many left. What? Amazing. I count that definitely as a, a heavy loss vic defeat, uh, victory here. They still had sufficient forces here. Uh, lots of art. Oh, no, this is mostly artillery. And light truck and 30 mils. Surprising, they did have something sitting here. Yeah, that's what I would class it as. And we have some mechanized sitting in here with some anti-tank. And that was taking them through the leopards out here. What were they uh, actually uh, claimed for? What did they claim? No claims. What did the hind claims? One tank. Where's the other guys gone? Two tanks. Two, one... Still just annoying. Two APCs, three infantry, one HQs, four AD. Oh my word, he was... By the by the end of it, he was out of ammo. But he just chopped up seven. <laughs> seven leopards. Oh my word, that was man of the match. This man needs promoting if he's not going to get put away for the rest of his life. HQ... He still had some some effectiveness there. Let's have a check around here. Free tanks, infantry. Yeah, these were just the uh, bombarding the living bejesus out of us. What else is here? So 
So it was more through losses than anything else here. Wait a second, I want to click that second unit. Right. Right, some of them, uh, I, I play with defaults, but I really should have set some of them, and I paid the price for not setting them. Uh, and Cap came the other day and taught and you know did did discuss some of the uh, sops. I should uh, I should have taken some fire and retreated back, but some of them it depends what you want to do it on and what. But I find these it just makes the game even deeper. I don't and like I said, I'm trying to play a game where you guys can see it rather than me spending. I could literally spend about half an hour on a turn, uh, and I'm, I'm trying to make the game as fun as possible. <laughs> Thanks, you Event Horizon. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. I want to say thank you very much to Delivering Games for letting me come and stream tonight. It's been fantastic yet again uh, for another, uh, of course, <coughs> Cold War Summer and Storm. Remember, it has released um, last week. And, of course, that was an amazing mission. A little bit harsh there for the Triple Jacking Forces, but we just held on. Uh, to answer, I'd be interested to play this against a human opponent. Uh, of course, uh, the computer player does have limitations, but regardless of that, the computer player is a fantastic opponent. That was interesting. Of course, the Hinds taking that advantage. My bad play with the utility vehicle Bring us straight up this road and it just got it got hit by some T-54s. It got hit by the helicopter itself. Harassing fire from the Hinds. Um, of course, it's just nice to see the different variations in vehicles. It really is. And of course, the Hind is one of them. And, uh, you know, as the last, when we played the, was it Panzer First, Panzer Ones last week? And we had a couple of attack helicopters and we did exactly the same that he was doing to me. Uh, but I, I think he was doing it, it was effective, but wasn't as effective as what i was doing so what does it have just auto cannon it's the anti-tank guide a slow rate of fire limited targets quite good range quite good range has the range on our, mach our, our leopard's uh, little foxy machine gun but very interesting i'd love it I love it. I love the things there. So don't forget to check this uh, the Matrix store out for Southern Storm. I'll put a link into the chat. Um, take care, folks. I hopefully I shall be back next Monday. To we're going to play this mission, and I will play the Czechoslovakia forces to see if I can kick the America uh, kick NATO forces out. Um, because I think it you need to play, I think you need to play the other side, and we'll definitely play the other side next week. But whoo, you're gifted a lot of stuff. And like I said, if you want to come and find me on YouTube, I will put a link in below. Have a great evening. Don't forget to check the other streams out on this week because uh, this is the start. I think hopefully the uh, the schedule will be up and you guys can see more. Thanks, folks. You guys have been great. Like I said, check the uh, Matrix store out. It's such a it's such a cracker, it really is. Take care, folks, before I start chatting more. See you later, folks, and bye bye.